City of Denver, no stranger to big payouts for police misconduct. But the latest one was not so cut and dry. City Council approved a half million dollar settlement for a couple who claimed excessive force, even though video clearly shows them provoking the officers. Karen Morfitt took a closer look at this case, and Karen, this decision was made even before a lawsuit was filed. And Karen, the couple's attorney says that uh, the city came to them with this offer before they filed any official complaint, and he believes it was because of the body camera video that they were able to make that decision. From the moment police initiate this traffic stop, she looks like she's yelling at me. The driver is vocal about her opposition. Ma'am, stay in your car. Oh, I live here. Okay, stay in the car. You're being pulled over. I'll explain that in a second. Within three minutes, the driver is handing over registration. In five minutes, the body camera video shows the stop turns into an arrest. The incident now resulting in a half a million dollar settlement. What uh, I saw, based on my experience as a civil rights attorney, was a verbal exchange that law enforcement needlessly escalated into a serious use of force event. Michael Fairhurst is the attorney for the driver Kristen Stanskas and her husband Quinnell Still. He says his client suffered serious injuries, including a traumatic brain injury. I believe on the strength of the body camera videos, we were able to resolve this case with Denver before the filing of a lawsuit. The city attorney's office says they firmly believe the settlement is in the best interest of the city and taxpayers. But Denver Police Union President Nick Rogers says after watching that same video, he's appalled by the city's decision. In a statement, he says, quote, an individual that is stopped for a traffic violation doesn't have the right to dictate how that contact proceeds. There is an element of officer safety that needs to be adhered to, and the city attorney's decision sets a precedent that is detrimental to police officers, but more importantly, law-abiding citizens. Now, Attorney Fairhurst also said that they think the settlement is a show of accountability on behalf of the police department, but they would like to see more. They'd like to see those officers disciplined, as well as some changes in training and policy. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.